Hello and welcome everyone. Today we will talk about our only natural satellite, Moon. It is our constant companion which has circled our planet for billions of years since before the first sparks of life flickered in the oceans and even before Earth was even cool enough to have oceans. The Moon's seemingly tranquil position in modern night skies stems from a remarkably tumultuous past. It formed some 4.5 billion years ago when the solar system was in its infancy and comets, meteors and asteroids collapsed with each other throughout the universe. One such collision between Earth and a Mars-sized orb likely flung molten rock out into the space, some of which collapsed and cooled to form what we now know as the Moon. The early formation and close ties with young Earth makes the Moon one of the most promising places to explore the birth and development of our solar system and home planet. The moon also preserves many of its ancient features. Unlike Earth, it doesn't have plate tectonics to continually reface the landscape, nor does it have wind and rain wearing down ancient rocks. But every 27.3 days, the moon makes its way around our planet while also completing one turn on its axis. Known as sync rotation, this celestial dance means that the same lunar face always peers down at us. Viewed from Earth, the amount of the moon illuminated by the sun appears to wax and wane, creating the familiar cycle from new moon to crescent to full. This sequence is a combined result of the moon's changing position relative to both the Earth and the sun, requiring 29.5 days to complete one full lunar cycle. Even though the same side of the moon always faces Earth, there is no true dark side, as many mistakenly call our lunar orbs far side. Even the far side of the moon receives sunlight, we just can't see it, and the section of the moon illuminated on any given day shifts depending on the moon's position. The moon's steady change between new and full provided a rhythm for generations of humans who eventually crafted calendars marking the moon's many phases and their effects on Earth's surface. One of the most obvious lunar influences is seen in Earth's tides. The moon's gravitational tug causes one bulge of water to form on the nearest side of our planet and another on the side furthest away. As the Earth rotates, the part of Earth affected by the lunar pull shifts, creating a high tide about every 12 hours at any given spot. The moon also dampens the amount that Earth teeters on its axis, helping to keep our climate more stable. The wobble in our planet still affects how the sun's energy is distributed across the Earth and can influence the frosty advance or retreat of ice ages. Without the moon, scientists estimate that our planet still could have varied by up to 85 degrees, causing wild swings in climate. But each year, the moon's grip on our planet grows just a little weaker, as it drifts about one and a half inches further into space. The slow expansion in the moon's orbit is a result of its role in Earth's tides. Our planet rotates a little bit faster than the moon's orbit, so the tidal bulge that rises on the side of Earth nearest the moon spins just ahead of the orb. This drags the moon along, slightly speeding up its orbit and inching it away. But don't worry, because it's unlikely the moon will fly away altogether. So our little glowing buddy will continue to loop around Earth as we continue our annual venture around the sun for millennia to come. Although the moon is our only permanent natural satellite, astronomers have discovered many other near-Earth objects that could be considered honorary mini-moons. But Earth is also orbited by many artificial satellites that occasionally get mistaken for potential new moons. In 2015, astronomers excitedly announced the observation of one such object, only to later realize it was actually the Gaia Space Telescope. Now if you know any other detail about our only natural satellite, that we missed, then don't hesitate to mention in the comments. See you till next time.